Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file. They traced it, uh, a piece of cardboard, and you can see it's thick lines, thin lines, double lines. Uh, quite possibly there's a hairline underneath there, but let's just play with this. You know, it's, it's all together. Go to Object Group and ungroup it. You can see there's a hairline around there. But it's all broken, so we're not going to even worry about that. What I would do, this thing is almost 9 inches. I'm going to set my nudge factor for 12. Uh, when I'm doing it for you, you need to set that at 0, 0. Uh, you'll be off a lot better. Then I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool, and I, I don't know if I have a leak or not, so I'm going to draw a rectangle around it in case there's a leak. Take the Smart Fill tool, fill that in. It didn't leak, and it worked. Now we can delete all that. We can left click or right click. And you can see it's a half a point. We need to turn it into a hairline. So that'll cut. With the exception, there's a lot of nodes. There are 320 nodes on six paths. The inside ones aren't as important because this is like a window to a, I think it's a major scene window. But this is not going to work, especially if you got to put them together. So we're going to take our shape tool and grab all the nodes except for the last two. Now I turned it into a kind of a curved line, but if we select that one, hold down the shift and select that one, right click your mouse and it'll turn it into a line. The bottom line looks good. I don't think I see anything, but see here, we're, we're going to go with that node right there, so we're going to delete these nodes. Delete all these nodes. And you can marquee them or select them like this. Now there's two nodes up here. We'll really have to zoom in to see what's going on. Don't really know, but we're going to hit delete. Now, you don't know if it's a straight line or not, so we can select both of them and right click and turn them into a line. The inside's good. Now we need to get rid of the inner nodes, which aren't as important with the exception of if you look at these nodes that are stacked up on each other, that means there's something really jagged there. I mean, look at that. That isn't going to be worth a flip and a cut. Just take your mark, your pick tool and just cut them. Now, we could go through there. We're not going to change much of the shape uh, per se because it's, it's an abstract type shape, but I would get rid of some of the, I'm just hitting the delete button. Now I'm going to select, well, I'm going to get rid of these first. And somehow these are turned into a line so we could select these and right click and turn them into a curve. Then we could get rid of that one. We could take that one. We can curve that back up kind of like it was. Uh, you need to do that on both edges. And kind of make them look the same. You know, as long as they doesn't change the shape too much, it is still a curve, so we can still curve it a little bit. And then I'm pretty sure this person has X7 or above, so you could use a smoothing tool. And you click on the item and then start moving it, it'll, it'll show you that it's working and the nodes are working. And I'm just going to kind of go around this track. Then on this one, same thing. Now we are changing the shape a little bit, but it's going to be a lot better in the long run. Um, and you'll see in just a second that, and see, you can see the nodes. If you can't see the nodes, it's not, it, you haven't clicked on it. So we had 320 nodes. We've still got about the same shape. But now we have 81 nodes. 81 versus 320. Now if you wanted the bottom exactly equal, you know, these two cuts, we could rotate this thing in negative 90 degrees. Put P, put it in the center of the page. And what I could do, uh, let's do this. This will be a good little trick. 
take the smart fill tool, fill that in and nudge it over, fill that in, nudge it over, nudge it over, nudge it over. So now we have the inside cut. You still need to take away the fill with the right, left click, right click, hairline, make sure it's a hairline, it's not. Uh, just move it up to a hairline. Uh, his smart fill tool must be set on, well, it's set on none, but it, it's not working. So we can delete these inner parts. We can go up here to object, break curve apart, and delete these inner parts. And we're going to make these two sides the same. So if we think, you know, if you look, kind of like this curve, and this has a pointed part, let's take a two-point line. Holding down the control button so it'll go straight. And then take your knife or your virtual segment delete key and delete that. Let's get rid of our line. Let's take that and control D. Holding down the shift key when you have that two-sided arrow and move it over there. Now it's still two parts, so I'm going to fill it in with the smart fill tool. And then I'm going to left click, right click. Make sure it's a hairline. It's not, then move it over there, and there is a completed unit. Uh, if you wanted it all together, you could either weld it. Well, weld's not going to work in this case, so use the Smart Fill tool. Fill that in, nudge it over. That way, all the pieces are kind of locked in. Uh, once again, it's not a hairline. He must draw in half points and then move that back to the center of the page. And then this is all one piece and ready to cut out. And you could still remove some of these nodes, but you know that's a personal preference of what it really is supposed to look like. You know, like that. Any nodes that are so close together, um, you could delete. See, it didn't really change. Nodes aren't gonna hurt you when you're lasering is like they would. See, there's a node now in the center from us breaking it apart. And I know he mentioned something like 8.75 tall, so it's 8.75 tall. I don't know what the dimension is there. But if you needed to change that, you could change that. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.